Hi everyone, this is Jack from RoadToCycle.com. Today I want to show you the ABCs of a motorcycle charging system. This will be an up-to-date charging system with a permanent magnet, rotor, a regular stator, a regulator, and your battery. Okay, So these are the parts of a motorcycle charging system. You have your motor, which I'm using an electric motor in this situation, but this say this is the, your motorcycle's motor. Inside here is my stator and this is my permanent magnet that spins around the stator to create AC power which is alternating current which is the same as like in your house so what happens is it creates AC power goes through your regulator rectifier and what that does it changes the AC to DC okay to charge your battery and it also regulates the voltage to charge your battery Okay, so we don't have an older vo over voltage and you know destroy your battery by boiling it or that type of thing. The regulator is a very important part of the puzzle here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fire it up to show you how it works. Up here on top is a load cell that I made with 1157 uh, bulbs, like from taillights of our motorcycles or cars or whatever. Although the newest, newer, newer ones are coming out with LEDs and that type of stuff. I use these because they pull more power and give us a little more. Uh, more of a load, let's say, than the, the LEDs. So I'm gonna fire this up. Okay, it's charging at 14.35. Now there's no load on the system at all, okay? So I'm gonna turn on first two bulbs. You heard the, the, the difference in noise. It's just, I don't know why, but it's just the way it is. And then, then it got really quiet. Our voltage did come down to 14.7, okay, with this load on it. Let me see if I can get it up. I'll speed it up. Okay, it didn't come up much, but it did come up, okay? So we're at 14.1, which, you know, that would make this regulator be okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it, okay? Okay, so that was just a test showing you that's all there is to your motorcycle charging system. Okay, is you know, a stator, this magnet that spins around, which I've never seen one go bad in my lifetime. You know, in accidents, that type of stuff, it happens. If you drop one, if you're working on your bike and you drop one of these on the floor, your rotor on the floor, it's very possible to knock a lot of the magnetism out of it and maybe a problem that no one would ever find you know it would be crazy you know to have one that you know you dropped on the floor and then your bike wouldn't charge anymore you'd be pulling your hair out okay you'd replace a a, a stator and you replace a regular you'd go crazy on it but anyway that's near here they're there okay so on my website i do have a way for you to check the stators and regulators on a video let me tell you something about the stator check on a stator check on my video it shows you how to check it and on your meter on ohms and check everything to make sure the windings are good inside because on a, on a uh, three-phase stator there's three windings to make sure those are good and to make sure there's no broken ones touching ground and going to ground that's what I show you how to do in that situation so sometimes that's not perfect I mean it, it 90 percent of the time 95 percent of the time it's it works great but there's times when your stator is just weak and, and that happens from heat over the years. Um, things can happen that will weaken your stator. And even though it checks out good that way, it might not check out good, you know, on your bike. So if you take, and let's say you buy a new regulator because that's what all your friends told you it was, or, you know, you decided that's what it was and you put it on, and it's still not charging up the power. I like to see, you know, 14.2 on a motorcycle, but, you know, you have to read your manufacturer's manual to see what they, you know, want as far as that goes so what you can do say it's charging like 13.2 okay and it, it's just barely charging and if you didn't have to sit at a lights for a long time and that type of stuff you might get away with it for a while but if you want to know what's wrong or another check i do and i tell customers to do sometimes when they put a new regulator on and their voltage isn't up pull your headlight fuse and see if the voltage goes up into the right area you know if it goes up to you know 13.8 14.2 that type of stuff it shows that your regulator wants to do its job but your stator can't or is not doing its job completely okay so is what you have in that situation 
more times than not is just a weak stator okay it doesn't show anything wrong with it in ohms checks but it's just weak and it happens like i say you know five percent of the time a guy by a regulator and you know he'll get it and say you know it's charging a little better but it should be charging better than that right jack and i'm like yeah it should be charging you know 14.2 you know usually the mosfets clip at about 14.2 14.3 as far as that goes so you know i haven't pulled the headlight fuse and the voltage goes up it's you know at 14.2 with no headlight on they plug it back in it goes back down so you know it's telling me and it's telling him now that the regulator is working fine whether it's a mosfet that i sell or whether it's you know a stock one or one you get from the dealer you know it, it doesn't matter they're they're it, it's just electronics as far as that goes so if you pull your headlight fuse and your voltage goes up and you know everything seems better it's because your stator is just on the weak side or maybe your connectors are bad in your system so that's another thing to check always check your connectors first especially the regulator uh, to the rectifier connection usually burns up on a lot of bikes Hondas Ducatis Triumphs they, they just seem to burn that connector up and if you have a burnt connector it's no big deal just take and cut it out of there and butt splice the two together hopefully solder it you know do it right solder it heat shrink and do that and fire up your bike and see if it fixes it if it fixes it you know you're fine you know it just it, it just happens it's one of those things that happens and they create resistance in those connections so get rid of the connection hardwire it in and see if that fixes it if it does hey you're in good shape have fun always keep your eye on your uh charging system don't get stranded that's that's the biggest thing motorcycles should have some type of charge indicator light or something on them from the factory they don't so it's really up to you and me to make sure our bikes are charging and stuff if i'm going on a long trip you know i have my led monitors on it you know i check and make sure or you know if i'm going with other people i'll check their you know battery to make sure that you know they're charging good okay because i don't want them stranded with me you know because they're not looking so anyway that's it hopefully the abcs of uh motorcycle charging systems helped and if you ever need any help or you know have questions you can email me at jack at roadsicycle.com or you can give me a call in the evening since i do a full-time job uh after five pacific time and that's it and check out my website roadsicycle.com hey have a good one Hope it helped. Bye.